Welcome to the demonstration movie from Ferro Technologies, especially focused on blood spatter analysis in the Ferro Reality software program. So we've already built a crime scene using the crime scene drawing tools. Uh, so we've built this building. We have a, a victim on the floor, some furniture in place. And now we're going to do the blood spatter analysis. This is where you've taken a photograph at the crime scene of the blood spatter. You're going to use that as the basis of analysis. So you click analysis, blood spatter, and we're going to get the picture. And we can put it wherever we want. So uh, we'll just place it there for now. And then Im immediately this comes up in front of us where we can use the tools here first of all to scale the image so we're going to type in the, the real world distance between any two points uh, once we've done that we can just uncheck uh, the button I'll bring it more into your view here so now the next thing we're going to do is use the ellipse tool all we're going to do is draw the major and minor axis of the ellipse. We can edit these afterwards if they're not absolutely correct. But as we emulate the ellipse or trace over it, it creates a ray at the right angle. So if we want to edit them afterwards, no problem. You can just click on it. And actually move it or rotate it or adjust it with the really good fine-tuning uh, properties panel on the left side you can always zoom in as much as you want to do these things and get it precise then just hit finish once we hit finish we have actually done the analysis but we're going to move our spatter picture to where it really was in the crime scene. Now we might have to move around a little bit in 3D and you should actually have some measurement points so you know exactly where to put the picture on the, the wall, the right distance along the wall and the right distance so we can use that to give us the origin and here's our origin right here. That's how it works. If you want to use human models in conjunction with that, no problem. Any one of the human models can be put into position to demonstrate the rest of the story. Thanks for watching.